Hi everyone, welcome back to The Early Show with me, Pastor Jean Ai. This week, we're going to be answering a question about education. But first, before we get there, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's sharing, who wishes to remain anonymous, but would like to dedicate their contribution towards all beings' liberation from suffering and to the attainment of compassion, wisdom and true happiness. I would also like to remind you guys that there is a live streaming session coming up on the final Sunday of this month. So get your questions ready for me and I'll see you then. So this week's question is, why is it that people today are more educated than ever before but also unhappier? That's because there is a mistaken correlation between happiness and education. The questions you have to ask yourself are, are they educated in the right things? Or are they educated in things that will bring them down even further, that will deepen their samsara even more? What do I mean by that? Well, what is it that they're educated in? Is it something secular? Are they well versed in the things that will increase their desire, that will deepen divisive thoughts, that will strengthen their sense of duality? Or are they educated in the things that will elevate them, that will prompt spiritual evolution, that will push them to grow and to develop their positive qualities and to reduce the ones that are causing suffering to themselves? Are they educated in things that will guide their conscience, that will compel them to do things that benefit others? Or are they educated in things that will grow their selfishness and their selfish mind and add to their desire? or fuel their anger and their ignorance. So that's the first thing. The other thing to consider is that just because we know a lot of things does not always mean that we apply them. A simple example is how come psychologists and psychiatrists and therapists can have a fair amount of understanding of the human mind and human behavior, but they can still be unhappy, but they can still have dysfunctional relationships, but they can still cause pain to others. That's due to the fact that just because you know something does not always mean that you will apply it to yourself. Isn't it always easier giving advice to a friend than making sure that we always follow the same advice ourselves? And it isn't just in a non-religious context. This also applies even in the monasteries. Our Guru, His Eminence Sam Tuku Rinpoche, also always said that there are extremely learned scholars who have studied for years and years and years in the monasteries and who have every qualification under the sun. If you ask them any question, they immediately know the answer and they can repeat every scripture to you verbatim. The problem is, sometimes some of them are not very nice people. They know the stuff, they studied the stuff, but they just don't do anything with the knowledge that they have. And so, as a consequence, over the years, anger grows, jealousy grows, discontent grows, how much harm they cause to others also grows. Then, on the other hand, you also have the people who know next to nothing. Rinpoche also said that there are some people who know very, very little who are not recognized scholars, who don't know how to do many prayers and many rituals and so on, but they're beaming, but they're light, but they're content, but they're not unhappy, even in their old age. So there are two things at stake here in answering this week's question. Number one, that just because you know a lot of things does not mean that you know the right things. What are the right things? How to treat people properly, how to take on more and bear more for others, how to exchange that selfish mind into a mind that benefits others. Number two, just because you know a lot of things, just because you're educated in a lot of things, does not always mean that you apply it. It's like going to the doctor when you're sick and the doctor laying it all out for you. This is your illness, this is what caused it, this is what the treatment is, and here's your medication. And then you don't do any of it. You don't take any of it. You don't change your diet, you don't take your medication, and you don't look into how to manage your illness. If you make zero lifestyle changes, how do you expect that you're going to heal? How do you expect that you're going to stop suffering? How do you expect that you're going to be happy? So that is how people can be more educated than ever before, but still be unhappy. They may know a lot of things, but they may not know the right things. And they may know a lot of things, but they may not apply it to themselves. Just because you know something doesn't always mean that you practice it. So I hope that I've answered that question. That is it from me for this week. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and thank you again to the sponsors of today's sharing. I'll see you guys in two weeks time on the final Sunday of this month for that live stream. So please don't forget to get your questions ready. Have a great week ahead. And as ever, please don't forget to be kind to each other. Bye.